Welcome dear friends. In this video, we're gonna show how to clone Windows Disk with reliable free applications. We'll show you two methods, please feel free to choose the one that fits best for you. With these methods you'll be able to clone the entire disk or only the OS partitions. Method 1. Free apps from respective disk manufacturers. First of all, just connect the new disk to your computer and then start the computer as usual from your old disk. Almost all disk manufacturers provide free software to perform disk operations such as cloning and OS migration. Here is the list of official free apps from popular vendors. I've provided all these download links in the video description. Even though these apps are free, they work only if you have a supported disk. For example, Samsung app will work only if you have a Samsung disk. For this demo, I'm going to use Samsung data migration software. Let's download the app and complete the installation. Once installed, please launch the app. This interface is simple and clean. Over here please select the source drive. Down below here, we should choose the destination disk. Please be careful while you choose this, because the contents of destination will be wiped. You can choose to migrate only C drive or the entire disk. When you migrate the only C drive, the whole target disk will be partitioned as C, but later once you boot with your clone disk, you will be able to shrink and create additional partitions as required. Please tap on Next. This is the final notice that all data in the target drive will be deleted, please go ahead and confirm. This can take significant time based on your disk size and speed. Let's take a break and come back. Cloning has been completed successfully. You should now shut down and restart, so that the PC can start from the newly cloned disk. For many of you it should automatically start from newly cloned disk. Especially if you've connected your new disk as the first disk. But if it did not automatically start from the clone disk, you should once again restart, press the BIOS key, and change the boot priority accordingly. I got my system back after successful cloning. Even though it has started from the new disk, you'll not notice any change. Right from wallpaper everything gets cloned as is. Let's check from which disk it has started. Please right-click Start and choose Disk Management. With the number of partitions over here, I can say it has started from my new clone disk. We can also double-check, please right-click and choose Properties. This confirms that this is indeed my new disk. Method 2. Macrium Reflect Free. This method works irrespective of disk make and model. I provided this download link in the video description, especially since you won't get this link from Google search results. Please follow the on-screen instructions. What we first downloaded is just a download agent, so this will now download and install the actual software. Please follow the on-screen instructions. Please follow the on-screen instructions. This is optional, you can uncheck. We've successfully installed Macrium Reflect. 
Go ahead and launch now. Please select the source disk. Once selected, you'll see an option that says clone this disk. Please click on it. Tap on this link. And select the target disk. You can select all partitions and copy the entire disk as is. Or you can only copy the C drive. Over here you have two options. First option clones exact partition size from the source. Second one adjusts the partition size based on the available target disk size. Let's try this. Alternatively, you can also drag and drop the partitions from source to target. Irrespective of what you choose here, later once you boot into Windows OS, you'll be able to shrink or extend partitions using Windows Disk Management Utility. Please tap on Next. Scheduling is not required for our case, so let's go ahead and just click Next. Please verify if your source and target disks are correct and click on Finish. Second option is not needed, so let's uncheck and click OK. This can take significant time based on your disk size and speed. Let's take a break and come back. Clone completed, click OK and close. You should now restart to boot your computer from the newly cloned disk. Please refer method 1 for the detailed post-cloning instructions. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another useful video.